You know what? Dr. Dre write about Eminem. Eminem may be the greatest MC, greatest rapper alive right now. Since Pac. Since Pac and Big. It may be Pac, Big, and Eminem. Top three. Not gonna lie, man. I bought... I got three Eminem CDs. That's how good, that's how great this guy is. I don't buy any rapper CDs. And for me to buy three of your CDs, you got to be great. How many Jay-Z CDs I bought? I bought that Blueprint. Oh, I bought three Jay-Z CDs, yup. Uh, Blueprint, the Black Album, and Sean Carter, Life and Times, Volume, I think that. That's what it's called. Anyway, Eminem beats Jay-Z. Eminem got Jay-Z. I rank Eminem over Jay-Z, bro. And I got one song for you. And, and you know, Kim. Check out Kim. Check out Kim from Marshall Mathers LP. You know why Eminem is so great? I, I put Eminem over anybody else. That's alive. Like I said, top three. Because Eminem is not afraid to show his vulnerability. You know, in a world full of masculinity, in in, in a genre, you know, hip hop is full of masculinity. Nobody's weak. Everybody's strong. They they never gonna show you their weak side. You know, everybody's big, the baddest motherfucker on the planet. That's every rapper. Every rapper, the baddest motherfucker on the planet, right? They ain't got no weaknesses. They they Superman. You know, they can uh, bullets don't don't bullets reflect off them, deflect off them. You know, they kill anybody. They beat in. They can beat anybody in the world up. You know, that's rappers. That's rappers. Of today, Eminem sets himself apart just like when two, just like Tupac did. Tupac was the first to do it. That showed their vulnerability. Showed the you know, I wouldn't say feminine side, but showed their vulnerable side. Wasn't afraid to express their vulnerable side, and Eminem does that like no other. He shows a vulnerable side. And Cam, listen to Cam, man. That is genius what he did when he made when he when he recorded Cam and he and you can tell he was going through something with his girlfriend. But I've never heard any rapper in life rap like this. Show his vulnerable side. Show how this how he could show how vulnerable this girl made him and lose it. It felt like a horror movie listening to this song. You know, when a lot of black rappers are too cool to rap like this. You know, this wasn't a rap, bro. This wasn't a song. This was this, this was like a murder on wax. And, and you know, black rappers murder other. Black men all the time on on wax, but this was like something different, bro. This was like a a movie murder, you know what I'm saying? Like a horror flick, horror film, like a real life, like like you really wanted to call Eminem and be like, "Hey, damn man, you all right?" That's how bad badass this song is, you know. And no, and I never heard any other rapper come like that. You know, we always the black, the black. Uh, a lot of our people, a lot of our, the black rappers got the same formula. Shot that nigga, that nigga who stepped up me. I shot, you know, killed two niggas in the hood. You know, all that kill, kill, gun, gun. I got, I got my, I got the biggest guns. Stepped up me, I'm gonna blast you. You know all that shit. But this is different. 
I never heard a, a, a black rapper talk about his girlfriend the way Ken, uh, the way Eminem talks about his girlfriend and his mom. You know, it's taboo to talk bad about your mom in the black community, especially on, on a record. But Eminem is different. He dissed his mom. He talk. He talk. He said some nasty things about his mom. And that's unheard of, especially when we came from the era of Pac, where Pac praised his mom. Eminem did the total opposite. He really blasted his mom. And Eminem is not afraid to make fun of him, fun of himself also. And this is what makes him genius. This is this is why Dre say what he say. You know. And it's not all satire. and You know, the man got skills. The man got skills. And, you know, D12, they try to ride that crazy wave. But they can't out crazy Eminem. <laughs> you know, you know, I, I hear I hear Bizarre. You know, they got one song on uh, the Masters LP. Is it Under the Influence? I don't know, but one of these songs features D12, and all of these guys try to act as crazy, try to rap as crazy, like Eminem, like try to say bizarre stuff, like Eminem does it, like Eminem does it. But they can't, they can't outwit Eminem. Eminem is the master of saying bizarre shit on wax. He owns that. He owns. And, 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 and Eminem is very intriguing, a very intriguing, uh, intriguing rapper. You listen to Eminem and you like, your eyes are bucked and you like, wow, this motherfucker crazy. You know, that's the type of vibe you get when you listen to Eminem. You like. You know, it's like watching a crazy ass scary, like a, a a scary movie by a Psycho, and you tuned in and you you tuned in and you watching this thing and and you and you uh you binge watch you binge listening to it. You know, songs like the real Slim Shady. You know how he just killed that, and how he's able to. You know, don't don't can't too many rappers rap like that. You know, Pee Wee Pee Wee Longway can do some, some similar to that. You know, Pee Wee Longway, but I don't see too many rappers doing what Eminem did on a real Slim Shady. How he killed that. How he talked about, you know, the celebrities. Yeah, that was genius. Think I give a damn about a Grammy? Will Smith can't. <laughs> Don't curse on his records, but I do. F him and F you. <laughs> you know, you think I give a damn about a Grammy? Critics can't stand me. No longer stand me. You know what I'm saying? Won't it be weird? Sit me here next to Britney Spears. Christi Christina Aguilera you better switch me chairs so I can sit 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 next to Carson Daly and Fred Durst and let and let them argue over who who she gave head to first come on man that was genius bro Eminem the way I am you know he talks about where he's go when what where he goes through as the as like the you know he was the first white rapper in a long time. You know, back when he first came out, there was there was no white rappers rapping, bro. None. And then and, and he signed with Dr. Dre, which made that even crazier. Dr. Dre signed the white rapper, and the dude had skills. Now I never liked that. My hi, my name is. I thought that was corny. I thought that was corny as hell. But uh, to each his own. I didn't like that. 
But yeah, I can see why Dre saying Eminem is the greatest. I bought three of this man's CDs. He doing something right. He did something right to impress me. I'll tell you that. But his music is not boring. It ain't going to put you to sleep. It's going this type of music going to keep you up, going to keep you very interested in what he's saying. Because he's very animated. And like I said, he just say things other rappers wouldn't say about themselves. Like I said, he, he he's not afraid to show his vulnerability, and that what makes him the greatest. That's what makes him. He can kill you on your own song. Like all these other rappers try to be cool. Nas, Jay Z, Snoop. They all try to be cool when they rapping. But Eminem will flip that shit on you and make you look like a dumbass. You know what I'm saying? You feature him on your song. You you try to be all that all that cool. You know Eminem can be that cool rapper too. But Eminem can flip that shit on you. And just outwit you on your own song. Outwit the fuck out you, bro. Outwit the hell out you. And you and and he's good at it. You know? It's like he doing trigonometry, calculus, all that. And y- and y'all stuck on adding and subtraction. Uh, adding and subtraction. You know what I'm saying? Y'all still stuck on adding and, you know, basic arithmetic. This man doing trigonometry on y'all niggas. That's how far advanced he is. That's how far ahead he is compared to these other rappers. You know, he's way ahead. Wrapping circles around these dudes. Yeah. I can see why Dre said he the greatest. He ain't lying, man. Eminem a bad motherfucker. That's it for me. Big, big facts. Peace.